My name is Tweet Coleman, and I'm one of the hosts for the Florida Aviation Network. And we're still in beautiful Armand Jordan, the 99's international co conferences here. We have over a couple of hundred women and their guests here in Armand Jordan. It's a beautiful, beautiful few days. We're so lucky to have with us this afternoon a woman from India who has flown for 46 years and this is the important thing. She's had no incidents or no accidents in those 46 years. Wow. We're happy to have Captain Anila Kema with us and she's from Delhi. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much. <laughs> Are you enjoying the conference? I'm loving the conference. Mm -hmm. This is my first ever international conference that I'm attending Oh, and uh, with 99s. Mm -hmm. And I'm so happy to meet such accomplished ladies like Captain Tweet called me. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, so much to learn from you all. <laughs> all of us, and we can learn from you as well. Yes. And I, you were telling me earlier that wonderful story where you were on approach into Kabul. Could you share that with our viewers? Yeah, sure. This is a very interesting incident. I was on a flight from Delhi to Kabul. And uh, on one of the flights, we knew that uh, Taliban infection that time had the Stinger missiles. And we used to come over at 20,000 feet after great effort, we used to come on finals for the landing. Of There's a lot of mountains There's too. a lot of mountains around Kabul airfield and those days Russian used to man the uh -huh. ATC of the Kabul uh -huh. airport. And now coming in for landing, he gave me landing clearance, he said clear to land and I was about 500 feet above uh, well, ground level. Pretty close. Yes, pretty close. And I suddenly saw a fighter airplane crossing my oh. uh, landing path. Oh my. I was taken aback, you know. My heart started thumping. I said, uh, Kabul ADC, uh, confirm I'm clear to land. I can see a fighter cro crossing my landing path. Yes. A very calm voice told me, Yeah, look out for three more. <laughs> three more three planes. More planes. <laughs> How can a pilot look out for three more aeroplanes by landing? But I don't have to look out for anything. One after another, three fighter planes just cross my takeoff path, landing path. Oh my. And now after landing, my heart is thumping, jumping. I said, Confirm clear to land. He said, clear to land. After landing, I contacted him again. I said, how can a fighter aircraft cross my landing path? This is not the international standards and convention. He said, well, my boys had heard the women, lady pilot's voice on the RT and they wanted to have a closer look. A closer look? <laughs> yeah, I said, little more closer and we would have been hugging each other. <laughs> so that is what used to happen in Kabul those days. Oh my know. gosh, yeah. What yes. a story, what a story. Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, you know, you've been flying for 46 years. I understand your daughter is also a pilot? Yes, my daughter is a pilot too. She's flying Boeing 777s with Air India for the last 14 years. Oh, wow. Wow, congratulations. And you only have one child. I have only one child. And, and it must be in the DNA that she's flying, huh? Well, <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are a couple of thoughts you'd like to give a young pilot going out into the world? I would say two very important qualities would be just be confident and stay calm. Be calm. Whatever the situation is. Right. Emergencies you can handle only if you're calm. Mm -hmm. That's all. And I guess you showed that in Kabul whenever you had those airplanes cross yes. your path to be calm. Yes. yes, it was one of the incidents of my life. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Captain Tweet Coleman. Thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, great. Thank you. So that's words for all of us. Be calm and be confident. This is Tweet Coleman for the Florida Aviation Network.